All right. Uh, what? <laughs> What's up, guy? What's up, guys? I've, I've not really started a, a, a vlog before, so I don't really know how do you how do you intro one of these things. What's up, guys? No. Hello. Hi. Hello. Layla. How do you say, what's up, how are you, in Indonesian? Why don't you want me to say it in Indonesian? Because it's cringy. Why? It's not cringy? Yes, it is. Why is it cringy if I do it? Because you're just like, uh, I speak <laughs> Indonesian now. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I'm learning. Yeah, to be, yeah, but... Don't you think the viewers will appreciate it if I speak a bit of Indonesian? Maybe just one, but don't make it like your intro for all the vlogs. Okay. Okay? Okay. Just be like, ada apa guys? <laughs> ada apa? <laughs> <laughs> ada apa? Apa kabar? <laughs> I like it. Let's roll the intro. Great song. I like that song a lot. Um, finally, welcome. Welcome to Lombok. Welcome back to one of my favorite places in the world. And welcome to this vlog. I don't know if it's a vlog. I'm not sure what this is. Welcome to the YouTube video. How good was that intro, by the way? Not the stuff that I filmed with the drone, but the, the animation, which was Definitely not me. Uh, I'm not very good with animation. The intro was made by my good friend Jake Johnson, who I used to work with in the UK, and he is just such a wizard on After Effects. And with any sort of animation program, he's so good, as you've just seen. Um, and I, I asked him, could he kindly cook something up for the for the intro to this series? Um, round of applause, Jake. Thank you very much. Let's play that one more time. We need to do that again. It's so good. Round of applause. Thank you, Jake. I want to use this first episode to basically, I want to talk about like, what is this vlog? Like, what do I want to do with this? What are our plans for the year? Why are we here in Lombok? All that good stuff. Um, but before any of that, I want to just preface it with something like super important, really important. Time to get a bit serious. I am I'm really conscious of the fact that as I embark on this this new chapter and this new adventure in Lombok and I go around exploring Indonesia and whatever else, I'm conscious that for a lot of you watching around the world, you are you're still in lockdown and you can't necessarily travel right now. You can't do all the normal life things. Um, so probably the last thing that you need right now is to watch a random bloke on the internet um, having the time of his life in a tropical paradise. <laughs> I love the phrase, um, comparison is a thief of joy. And I found that a lot of the bad side of social media is based on comparison. So like I've been there myself, I've found myself scrolling through the feed or watching something and being like, fuck, like I wish that was me or I wish that was my life, why can't I travel there? Um, I've caught myself doing that. So what I'm saying is basically if at any point you feel like that watching this stuff, 
just turn it off like you don't need to watch and that's not why i'm here that's not what i'm here for to make you feel jealous or like shit about your own situation that's not the idea of this um it's important to remember that social media is it's a highlights reel at the end of the day like i won't shy away from sharing the the raw reality of stuff i'm quite happy to share the shit moments i think you've seen that with some of my other work um but at the same time like just remember it's a highlights reel and what you're seeing on social media is never the full picture. The idea of this vlog is basically to either educate or entertain. If I can do both at the same time, then that's brilliant. Um, but that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to give you a little bit of escapism every week. I don't know if I'm going to upload every week, but I'll try. Um, but yeah, just like something that you can sit down chill out a little bit of escapism you can watch it and just kind of like travel to a different part of the world um that's the idea with this i don't actually have any idea about what this is going to be it's just like a really nice creative outlet for me um so yeah i just hope that you enjoy this and you're looking forward to coming along on the journey with me and layla anyway that is enough jibber jabber for me i know i'm always rambling on and getting too deep Let's go do something. Let's crack on with this vlog. I've said everything I need to say. You get it. I get it. We're cool. Let's crack on. Check it out. This is our very humble, noble steed, the Honda Vario. Uh, 150cc don't have a name for it yet if you have a name let me know in the comments um, but yeah this is our this is our little scooter that gets us around the island does a good job I um, I had a very very trusty Honda Civic back in the UK and I was really good to, to say goodbye to that thing I sold it to one of my best mates, so I know it's in good hands. Um, but I like to think that this Honda Vario is the reincarnation of that car. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I really enjoy driving a scooter around the island. It's just the best way to get around, I reckon. All right, away we go then. Welcome back to Lombok. Oh, Hattie Hattie, this is, um, look at this, it's all cornered off now. Quick story time. It just dropped. You're not coming any further. You don't fancy it. It looks pretty sketchy, eh? Over the past few months since I've been here, it's uh, it's been the wet season. And funny enough, in the wet season, it rains a lot. I think that's why they call it the wet season. So yeah, there have been like all these builders who've been just putting the finishing touches to this nice piece of road. Um, it had a lovely view looking out to sea over the beaches. It was a nice place where people were hanging out and watching sunsets. Um, but then we had, a couple of weeks ago, a biblical, biblical rainfall. A lot of rain. <laughs> a lot of rain has fallen and it continues to fall. It's, uh, look at this. This is the wet season, guys just does not stop and yeah overnight it just disappeared half the road just disappeared in a landslide so uh, they're gonna have to fix that literally like yesterday me and Layla were driving past here and funny enough there were cracks appearing in the tarmac just just there funny enough right right where it's collapsed uh, I remember looking at those cracks and I said to Layla I was like 
you know, that's going to go, like that's going to fall at some point over the next few months. <laughs> Except, it, yeah, it only took like 12 hours after I said that driving past. So that really was the talk of the town for a few days. You had people coming, coming from all over the place to have a look at this big landslide. Um, I don't know what they're going to do about it. But yeah, we've we've had a lot of rain, so that's why I'm just I'm buzzing today. Like we've we've got beautiful weather. The sun is out, clear blue skies. It's amazing. Not to rub it in the faces of all of you lot who are in the northern hemisphere in the middle of winter right now. If you took your gloves off to find your cock to have a piss, you lost a finger to the frost. And all in darkness. But yeah, I thought we would... I thought we'd go and check out one of my favourite beaches. What do you guys think of this uh, this whole setup? The microphone clip to the helmet. I don't know if you can see that. Can you hear me? To be honest, I mean, that was a fucking stupid question. Obviously, you can hear me. If you couldn't hear me, then this wouldn't be in the vlog. Stupid question, Josh. I was gonna ask, um, is it? Does it look stupid? But the obvious answer is yes. It looks fucking stupid. And to be honest, me looking stupid filming myself. I think that ship has long sailed, like, that's just part of vlogging. If you want to vlog, you just have to look like a dick. <laughs> so here I am, driving along, looking like a dick, sounding like a dick. I mean, I've seen plenty of um, moto vlogs where people just head out and they go for a drive and they probably have a much better audio setup than I do and they just have a chat. And I quite enjoy watching those from time to time. This this isn't a moto vlog, okay? So don't worry about that. <laughs> um, but I, look, I'm always talking, singing to myself when I drive anyway. So you may as well listen in. Oh, what a beautiful morning! Oh, what a beautiful! Wow, big monkey! Did anyone see that? I mean, this road is, this is a bloody good road. Shout out to the OGs. If you remember the original Lombok video, which is coming up, that's coming up to three years now. That's been a fair while. God, I'm getting old. Shout out though, if you do remember the original Lombok video, In that video, I uh, I highlighted this road because I mean, it's, I'm no I'm not a petrol head like I'm not that into cars or motorbikes or anything, but I do love a good drive. I love driving, to be honest, and this is is one of my favourite roads in the world. It's just so bloody good. <laughs> I, I ran out of superlatives for it a long time ago. I mean, look at it! <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, mate! I love it! Welcome back to Lombok, ladies and gentlemen. Pleasure to be here. Sand, folks. Oh, oh, look at this little slice of paradise.
I've got the uh, sunglasses on today, not because I want to be Casey Neistat, but because I filmed lockdown diaries on this beach and I noticed I basically spent the whole time looking at the camera like this because <laughs> it was so bright. Uh, so yeah, let's get these sunglasses on, much better. I wanted to use this vlog to, to dive into the reasons why I'm here in Lombok. Um, and the first reason is very simple. Just look at it. <laughs> it is just so beautiful. Um, it's a no-brainer. <laughs> In my recent series of lockdown diaries, um, there was a guy who commented on one of the videos and he was like, bro, this is fucking boring. Like, do something. Like, what's going on with all these diaries? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> like, being locked up in your house for months on end kind of is boring. <laughs> but I completely get where he's coming from. Um, lockdown diaries was a breakaway from the usual stuff that I post on my channel, which is about travel and adventures. Um, so yeah, it was, I get where he's coming from. <laughs> People obviously, when they come to my channel, they're expecting travel stuff, really. And that's fine, but that's, that's really what I want to build this channel around, is travel. My goal with this channel and all the videos I put out and all the films I make is ultimately just to encourage you to get out there and travel. Um, I appreciate that's a little bit difficult right now with the pandemic going on, but you get the gist. And, you know, travel has done so much for me, and I've talked a little bit about that in my series, Why You Need to Travel. Um, I think you guys who know me by this point understand that I love travel and the reasons I love it. And I want to just encourage people who see my stuff to get out there and, and see the world for themselves really that's what this is all about because I, I genuinely think it's like it just seems like a foolproof way to make the world a better place in my opinion so that is what this is all about and that is what's going to happen going forward um, and that brings me on to my second point of why me and Layla are here in Lombok so I've drawn I've drawn these very questionable diagrams, these pie charts in the sand. Let's see if I can explain. <laughs> I've already talked about it a little bit um, in the first episode of Lockdown Diaries and on the rooftop in Istanbul. Um, and basically, whilst back in the UK, kind of realized like, fuck, UK is an expensive place to live. And I was working flat out Monday to Friday just to, just to make ends meet which is just the norm, that's how it goes. Um, it's completely normal in the UK. Uh, bear with me. <laughs> I've drawn this pie chart in the sand to try and explain, okay? So, basically, if you look at this, all of this here was all of my, is it basically? <laughs> oh geez, let's think about this. If the whole pie chart is all the money that I have coming in each month to my bank account, earning from the job I had. Um, all of this here was everything going back out and that was expenses such as fueling the car, paying rents, paying bills, paying taxes, just living costs, you know, food. So I just had this tiny little bit left uh, at the end of each month, which meant that I didn't really have more savings going on. Still with me? Kind of makes sense, hopefully. <laughs> I'm also really worried the sea is gonna come in at any moment and wash this masterpiece away. Anyway, the same pie chart can also uh, be looked at from a different point of view, which is if the whole pie chart is my time each week or each month. And the same thing was happening because I was having to work flat out just to make ends meet. It meant that all of this 
was basically my time just being eaten up by work and it left me very little time, very little spare time to focus on any passion projects and anything else. Oh no! Okay. Well, you get the idea. <laughs> that, uh, that actually sums it up pretty well. Um, all of my time was just being sucked away. And yeah, I was in this position in the UK where I had neither the time nor the money to really travel that much and pursue what I love to do, which is to create the travel films that you've watched on this channel. Um, you know, whether it's the Bayesians, the East Coast, going to Berlin, Istanbul, Iceland, you know, all of those amazing trips that I've done. That is what I'm so passionate about and that's what I love. And I kind of realized, fuck, I'm, I haven't got enough resources, whether it's financial or time-wise, to really pursue it. So when we started doing the maths and thinking more seriously about like, where do we want to live? We realized like once we've done the math in Lombok and done all the due diligence and weighed everything up, we were like, shit, like Lombok's the one because suddenly, um, because the, the cost of living here is, it just is a lot lower. Um, that meant that I was freed up with all of my time and yeah, like it just, it just makes so much sense. I've drawn another, oh, I just literally just drew another pie chart. This one, <laughs> it was there. So by living in Lombok, I basically flipped this pie chart around and suddenly because the cost of living is so much lower, I have all of this spare time because I no longer have to work the whole week. I actually just work very little, if at all. So suddenly all this spare time is now dedicated to my passion projects. And again, financially, if this is my financial situation, because the cost of living is so much lower, I've now got the situation where that is my outgoings. Suddenly I have a lot more money, which Again, this allows me to travel more. I now have more time and more money to travel and pursue my dreams. And that's just so exciting to me. It's, <laughs> I just can't tell you how excited I am. So yeah, the idea for the next however many months, however many years whilst being here is that I'm just gonna go all in on YouTube and I'm just gonna post a lot more frequently and just get more creative and have fun with this because I've, you know, I've always had fun just following what I love to do and what my passions are. Um, and I felt like where I was in life and my age and everything, I'm still young, I'm still learning. This was the right move. Like, I still don't know if I'm gonna end up creating like travel documentaries and films for big broadcasters like a Netflix or a, you know Amazon Prime or whatever it may be when and if I ever get there. But on the flip side, it could very easily just be this, like this could be it, like me just uploading travel films and sharing my work to YouTube. Because the way the world is going and how everything has changed even in the last 10 years, YouTube is kind of the new TV, like this is it. And there's a lot of creative freedom that comes with just being able to post what I want when I want. That is something that I really treasure. So yeah, I don't know where we're gonna end up, um, but I hope that you enjoy this, this journey with me and I'm just gonna have fun with it. I'm really, really excited about the future. I'm, I'm here pursuing what makes me happy and chasing my passion and my dreams and that is that's where i need to be right now um that makes sense to me so yeah i don't know what to say <laughs> there's a lot going on i'm very excited and i appreciate that i've just been chatting shit for the past five ten minutes creating pie diagrams in the sand Let's go fucking do something before that guy comments again. <laughs>
go for a very quick snorkel. Um, the other week, just out there somewhere, I found this really, really nice coral garden. Like, I'm quite used to seeing bleached dead coral. Um, that's becoming the norm all around the world, which sucks. But literally, like, let me show you. You know how I was saying I look like a dick on the bike earlier? I just constantly look like a dick. Anyway, let's go see some fish. I'm, uh, I'm no marine biologist, but to me, this coral looks pretty healthy. That, to me, looks like really healthy coral um, and it's just nice to see it because like I said the narrative at the moment around the world the, the, the reality is that most of the coral is dying and bleaching so yeah I was over the moon when I found this um, if you happen to be a marine biologist or you know more than me which is very easy when it comes to ocean stuff <laughs> um, let me know what you saw because I don't have a clue on all the names of the fish. I just see the colourful ones and I'm like, ooh, yes, let's go film that. <laughs> anyway, home time. Um, let's go see the third reason that I'm here in Lombok. Okay, back home then. I'll go see the wife. <laughs> it's mad that, isn't it? I've, I've got a wife now. <laughs> Still getting used to saying that. Uh, hopefully she's all right. Bless her. She's she's been working hard all day in the office. Uh, Layla does copywriting and you know writing blogs, articles, things like that. So she's been slaving away in the office whilst I've been out having fun at the beach. <laughs> I hope she doesn't hate me. Here she is, Leila Rose. Welcome to the vlog. How are you doing? Not great. <laughs> oh no. What have you been up to? Working. Working. While you were out having fun. So hey, I've really... been working. This this is work as well. It's not work. It's hard work. Oh, swimming is so hard work. <laughs> Chilling on the beach is such a hard uh, work. <laughs> what I was gonna say is. I've been talking about like the reasons that I'm here in Lombok, and yeah. and you're the you're the third reason. 
okay. I'm here because of you. The, the third reason, not the first. No, no, no. You, you, like obviously, the the most important reason, but you just came third in the video. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>